what is being done to ensure that indeed the quality of engineers being churned out can be able to meet up to the industry's demands? Thank you very much, uh, Doreen, for having us today. Yeah. Um, as uh, my colleagues have said, engineering is a very precise science and uh, things must be put in, in place to fit and what is learned must be applied practically. Uh, for that reason, uh, there is a collaboration between the academia, the universities who are teaching uh, courses, and the industry. And in between, there is a regulator who is uh, Engineers Board of Kenya, mm -hmm. where our main role is to ensure that um, standards are made and maintained and that the programs taught in universities, the engineering programs taught in universities are relevant to the industry. Mm -hmm. And therefore, um, there is need for those programs to be looked at, evaluated, yeah. and then um, accepted mm -hmm. by the regulator. Mm -hmm. um, and the way this is done is to involve both the academia and the industry. They come together, they go to a university, they make sure that uh, that course it has enough competencies who are teaching the faculty uh, the right um, have the right qualifications mm -hmm. also there are facilities um, like uh, if it is um, <coughs> a telecommunications program like uh, lending to people working in a studio like this mm -hmm. they have studios like this where they can demonstrate and do all that if it is a mechanical engineering they have workshops and laboratories where materials can be tested mm -hmm and uh, all that mm -hmm. and then um, again we'll make sure that uh, those students are exposed to the industry in their training um, by organizing uh, attachments mm -hmm. so that whatever they are learning uh, in theory can be seen in practice mm -hmm. and by the time they uh, graduate after five years then they are competent to be licensed as graduate engineers okay. the student doesn't tell them because they are also required again to uh, do another three years of practical training or what we call graduate engineers internship program where they are now attached to professional and consulting engineers who are working in the industry and they are trained practically and then they can be licensed to be professional engineers mm 